uh, about myself first i'm from gwalior madhya pradesh uh, and previously i worked in deloitte currently i work in infosys about my skills uh, uh, i have uh, i know i am a fan sap as well as and java python and some tools kind of git and some basic of aws also so here scope of the demo is uh, like what is agenda of this demo so we are discussing about ana plan so what firstly what is ana plan basically ana plan is epm based tool like enterprise performance management there are so many tools already there in the market uh, for doing the same kind of similar kind of thing but here the uh, ana plan is comes in a picture because it's more uh, scalable and durable and the security purposes more finer than other epm based tools so like uh, firstly i will tell you some other epm based tools like oracle oracle e horizon hyperion uh, and workday and sap business project also comes in a epm or uh, epm only so this is the uh, like a honeycomb structure of uh, ana plan like uh, in various uh, uh, in a various uh, part of this uh, area you can use ana plan like first is finance other one is sales third is supply chain and the human resources so in finance uh, it comes under your uh, revenue expenditures and uh, income state forecasting and capex and and the balance sheet and cash flows and in sales here uh, you can see here this uh, modeling and trade for planning and others and so many and for marketing more performance also comes under your supply chain so you can see these are the demand planning and supplier collaboration and supply planning those thing comes under you can you can deal those uh, many things with the help of ana plan so coming to the slide so basically what our course outline like what in a structure we have follow this course so in starting we discuss the basics of ana plan and uh, for building blocks of ana plan like uh, course structure like where you started and then apart from that you will uh, understand the main three pillars of this scheme like uh, its engines and part of the part of the core ana plan is time versions and the list so this uh, manner we will follow then in after that we will start building a modules in models and uh, we will dealing with this formulas and some module views and after the end product uh, in that is only the dashboard like user will interact with the dashboard only so this is the thing uh, in the end and uh, after the whole course uh, you will uh, get certified with l1 certification some add on topics uh, you can see this picture this is the uh, you can say that the dashboard thing like a end product for the user user will interact with this only this particular area of screen like uh, this is you can use in your phone as well and your web browser so it's not uh, yeah you can say as a as a responsive kind of um, web page so you can use either in your phone as well as your, in your laptop so like uh, add on topic i can add like dealing with user story so according to me, uh, my uh, the mean of the user story is like client will give you some uh, data in a form of uh, like a written statement so you will find out the way you will perform those thing in your ana plan with so i will teach you how to understand the user story and perform in a in a similar manner in ana plan so giving over if you were real time scenario to also like uh, how the thing will be uh, uh, flow like uh, if the flow chart will be like suppose the capex will be fall down so what will be effect in your flow chart so this kind of real, real time scenario we will dealing with that also and focusing on functional area as well so functional area means you can uh, uh, understand by like uh, some formulas suppose you will use some excel formula so similar you have to use here also so if you need to calculate some capex or some um, pnl profit and loss so you need to focus those area as well so we will we will uh, highlight these thing also in our course so coming to projects uh, those project i already done in my um, uh, ana plan journey so first one i will uh, i done with this bhp this is the coal mining company from australia so for them uh, we uh, make as a finance budgeting and forecasting analysis so in that uh, uh, we follow agile methodology 
so for for my my part of implementation i part as a as a model you list subset and action and ui page also in the particular uh, time of this uh, project and after that uh, we are in the support team as well when the end project will done so we you need to client need a, a support as well like uh, some small fixes and other bugs will be arise uh, so this thing will be the our team is the part of that particular bug fixing so then coming to second project uh, second project is all from the deloitte itself like a epn a network like you can say is a attendance management system for new joinings so for the easy tracking for his progress and evaluate his performance easily so we will mean we make this uh, particular project for deloitte or itself also and the third one is a johnson and johnson this is the support project i uh, will be part of the support so some uh, new enhancement will be arise over there so i will be part of that time in being like if for the charting and the some bar formation and all so the lab setup like for what requirement you need for this uh, whole setup so basically you need some normal high speed internet and your desktop your laptop for the system requirement just uh, your system has a normally uh, you 4gb ram and some like a basic uh, basic ios is more than enough because whole thing you will deal with this a cloud or your web browser so no need any extra software need to be installed for the anapna so just just to go with the your chrome browser will be good to go for performing anything so coming to mock interviews so i'll give you some quickly overview about uh, some basic question they will ask in your interview like generally they won't ask you what is anapna because they already they ask you some functional and scenario based question but here i will i will tell you also the the basic question as well so what is uh, ana plan so you can say ana plan the cloud based financial planning performance management provide multi fact business planning combination tool you can say this is an analysis and planning you can analyze the thing and planning according with the scenarios and depending client needs and this is a dynamically and make intelligent decision you can say like uh, in excel you can't share the file easily you suppose your uh, other team member like uh, his geographical location is different from yours so you need to share with some other mails and all and you need to set up the security the security will be not there in, so easily uh, anyone can breach so here the anaplan give you security uh, access also like uh, those person is particularly assigned to the particular workspace or only the person are able to access your data or you can easily synchronize the sync the thing then what are the feature of anaplan so as i told you this is a cloud based platform it centralized data suppose you have the workspace so the your workspace on a cloud so easily your four team members can work simultaneously can change the thing or pushing the thing and the centralized hub but easily without downtime you can do anything in a quickly manner some real time reporting you built a dashboard and access the help of application this is the that real time processing so pre built apps is provide app also you can make the app and pages in your dashboards security compliance compliances is it is highly available and continuously monitoring platform and the modeling analysis user can construct the model easily without any code so you will just to clear in your mind is not require any that much of coding but you need some familiar with uh, with loops if else and some if you know about any language now like in java python you familiar with those code like if else and loops so those basically thing you will be use here only not that much hard to be understand uh, even anaplan is a of own app hub or you can say like a solution i will show you after a minute so some other question like what are the various model in anapa so basically you will deal with three more modules like a like driver mode is called as a calculate you whole calculation will be will be in the driver modules and the input one you will ask for the calculation what the input is so first you will provide the input and then it will be calculation happen and outcome of the output modules so it will use for your reporting like your dashboard for your dashboard uh, thing Like what is data synchronization? Synchronization, you can say Alapan Connect is a synchronization tool for that. So what you, I can 
uh, tell you one thing like uh, if you have a you can understand with this you have a prod module and you have a uh, date you can production and your cent normal centralized module so you can whenever you push the thing in your production now only once you done with this thing you will synchronize with the production one so this is the thing you will use here like is reduce this your local collection and actual is the collection reduces the or uh, redundancy so those many thing you will done with the synchronization as well now the name of the various module in our so as we already looked like finance and sales and supply chain these are the thing we are uh, and a plan will support coming to certification your ultimate goal here to achieve relevant certification along with good exposure of the deal dealing with the functional understanding also and after l1 l2 you will uh, hit to the model builder certification because uh, those company will hire you they will look you or you have a model builder certification or not so this is the, our primary goal here so if you stuck somewhere you can just go and search here these are the formula if you can find the calculation functions also like basically you are using your time and date function logical function if you stuck somewhere you can find the someone use they will they will help you like how to use those things so if you feeling stuck how to use it they will you can look here just check the thing how to use like you can see these are the uh, formulas logical function like if then else is actual version so once you suppose i'll show you for this is actual version so if you click that so they will show you some syntax also like what are the examples and why we use what are the uses of this actual version so you can see and look this thing and use up in your particular uh, module or calculation depending on client needs so this is the thing here uh, for you and one more thing i'll show you about these certifications yeah so as you can see this level 1 this is a level 1 training program just click on that they will guide you firstly you have only two attempts for the uh, l1 certification even though l for the l2 also so the your passing marks would be around in uh, 70% you need to uh, for the clearance the exam you need to get the 70% marks in that so i will teach you you will definitely clear this exam easily it's not that much hard 